Just one night spent in worship, worth over 83 years. A night that is better than an entire lifespan and beyond for most of us. A night that gives you a whole extra life, and not just any life, an entire life of you devoted to worshipping Allah constantly and keeping away from sin. What a phenomenal opportunity, what a night. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakat. I'm your brother Abu Abdus Salam speaking to you from the blessed city of Mecca. That's Makkah al Mukarramah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil qadr. Wa ma adraka ma laylatul qadr. Laylatul qadr khayrun min alfi shahr. Tanazzalu al malaikatu wa ruhu fiha bi izni rabbihim min kulli amr. Salamun hiya hatta matala'il fajr. This means, Indeed, we sent down it, meaning the Quran, on the night of decree, Laylatul Qadr. And what will make you understand what is the night of Qadr? The night of Qadr is better than a thousand months. That night, the angels and the spirit, meaning Jibreel, descend by the permission of their Lord for every matter. It is all peace until the break of dawn. Of course, this is Surah Al-Qadr. And here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, Inna anzalnahu fi laylatin mubaraka Inna kunna munzirin Fiha yufraqu kullu amrin hakim Indeed, we sent it, meaning the Quran, down on a blessed night, for we are always warning. On that night, every matter of wisdom is ordained. And this is in Surah Al-Dukhan. These ayat are of course talking about Laylatul Qadr or the night of decree. This blessed night is when the Quran was first revealed, a momentous event in history. It's a night that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us is better than a thousand months. One of the meanings of this is that the acts of worship that we do on this one night are better than doing them for over a thousand months or 83 plus years. On this night, the angels, including Jibreel alayhi salam, referred to in the ayah as the spirit, ruh, descend in abundance, bringing peace and safety from harm. Decrees or qadr for the coming year are determined, highlighting the night's importance in divine planning. Most significantly for us, it's a night of forgiveness for those who pray with true iman and seek reward, as we shall see shortly, inshaAllah. Such is the magnitude of Laylatul Qadr, a night Allah has honored in the Quran, offering us a golden chance to make up for our deficiencies in the first 20 days of Ramadan and achieve whatever we desire. Aisha radiallahu anha, the wife of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, said, when the last 10 nights of Ramadan began, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam stayed up at night for prayer and he woke his family up and tightened his waist wrap. This hadith was reported by both Muslim and Bukhari. Tightening his waist wrap in this hadith refers to the Prophet وسلم, secluding himself from his wives in the last 10 nights, not having marital relations with them because he'd be in i'tikaf. It is also possible that it refers to being more steadfast in worship. What is i'tikaf? I'tikaf is to seclude yourself in the masjid in order to worship Allah for a specified amount of time. The Prophet وسلم, used to stay in the masjid for the entirety of the last 10 days and nights of Ramadan. It was narrated by Ubay ibn Ka'ab radiallahu anhu that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to observe i'tikaf during the last 10 of Ramadan. One year he did not do i'tikaf. So when the next year came, he observed i'tikaf for 20 nights. But when is Laylatul Qadr? Is it a specific night? Does it change every year? Well, listen to the words of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who said, seek Laylatul Qadr in the last seven. And he also said, seek Laylatul Qadr in the last 10 nights of Ramadan. When thy nights remain, meaning on the 21st. When seven nights remain, meaning on the 23rd. And when five nights remain, meaning on the 25th. Both hadiths are in Bukhari. In reality, we don't know exactly which night of Ramadan is Laylatul Qadr. But that's the beauty of it. A number of scholars of Islam stated that Laylatul Qadr changes each year. So one year it could be on the 27th night and the next year it could be on the 29th night and so on. What we do know is that it is likely to be in the last 10 nights of Ramadan and more likely to be in one of the odd nights in the last 10 and then even more likely to be on the 27th night. If we knew which night Laylatul Qadr was on then we would only work hard in worship on that night. This is one of the wisdoms behind why Allah has made it unclear 
as to which of these specific nights is Laylatul Qadr. And so that way we can work hard and try to catch it in each of the last 10 nights of Ramadan. And this helps create good habits that we can continue beyond Ramadan. So what can we do in the last 10 nights of Ramadan seeking Laylatul Qadr in each of them? The Prophet ﷺ urged us to pray during Laylatul Qadr, saying, whoever performs Qiyam, meaning stands in night prayer, during Laylatul Qadr, the night of decree, with Iman, faith, and being hopeful of Allah's reward, this person will have his former sins forgiven. Allahu Akbar. And this hadith is reported in Bukhari and Muslim. Is there a specific dua we can make on that night? Well, Aisha radiallahu anha once said, O Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what do you think I should say in my supplication if I come upon Laylatul Qadr? He said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, say, Allahumma innaka afoon tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anni. O Allah, you are forgiven and you love forgiveness, so forgive me and pardon me. So brothers and sisters, let us strive to make the best of this once a year opportunity. Remember, a good deed in this one night is better than doing that same good deed for a thousand months. That's like an entire lifetime's worth of good deeds. You can ensure that you recite a bit of Quran on each of the last 10 nights, hoping to get Laylatul Qadr. So it's like you've recited Quran for every night for 83 plus years. Spread out some charity. So you give on each of these nights. Make time for dua on each of these nights and so on and so forth. This way, we can hope to increase our chances of doing all these deeds on the night that actually ends up being Laylatul Qadr, inshallah, in the last 10 nights of Ramadan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our fasting, prayers, charity, duas, and all of our good deeds on this night and always. Ameen. And don't forget to make dua for me every night in the last 10 and also for the Muslims around the world. Jazakumullahu khairan. I'm your brother Abu Abdul Salam speaking to you from Mecca. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.